In a corrupt society, millions of kids from all over the world have never touched a real football. Inspired to play, players created balls from what they could find, but they still couldn't afford a decent football. And so I wanted to put myself in their world and try to build a football primarily out of grass. For this to be successful, we need to check off five simple tests. But by the end of the video, I'm going to be blindfolding my best friends to see if they notice the difference between a real versus a fake football. The first step I need to do is gather materials. Walmart, here we come. Now that I'm home, I'm only missing one thing. <sighs> the grass, baby. Ever since I was young, going pro was the dream, but I never realized how hard life was for other people. Some of the greatest legends came from nothing. No boots, no balls, many with no bedroom. Inspired by their stories, I had a vision to create the best grass football in the world. That's my boy. I'm getting some free labor. After the cut, it was time to build the ball, except I didn't know how. Alright, so I was looking on this website. We're gonna follow a tutorial on how to make a ball. First step is the glue, baby. Oh yeah, good amount of glue right there, boys. For the last few years, I never realized how corrupt the world really was. And full of grass, sir. Into the buckets. In other countries, players begin on dirt fields, kicking balls they made out of plastic bags and string. Yet the passion has never left. It's getting quite heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Another handful of lovely grass. Despite the conditions not being great, the balls still bring everyone together. Trust has been a lost cause, but maybe we can still find love through the game. We gotta sprinkle the grass. When the mixture was complete, it was time to bag it up. Start filling it with grass. Has anyone gone grass shopping? That's what it looks like, boys. Bag number four. You solid football. Bag number five. Bag number seven. Number eight. One by one, I knew I was inching my way closer. Bag 13. Bag 14. Bag 15. 18 bags 21 bags and at last the bags were done dude there it is there's the football however the string was the final piece i was missing we gotta use the entire yarn so close yet so far this is how they did it back in the day man and after wrapping it up i finally built the world's greatest grass football there she is top watch top quality right it's the next day we got the grass football right here versus the real football we're gonna test it through five different tests and see how it compares against each other Let's go. For the first test is juggling. This should be interesting. Real football, let's get this. Oh yes, that's quality right there, sir. But the real test is to see if we can actually juggle this ball. Let's get it, boys. Take two, here we go. We got two touches that time. This time we're gonna flick it from the ground, starting with the boot. Hoo. Okay, hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh, ooh. We actually got a good amount of touches on that, so we're gonna count that as a dub for the test. We got at least three keepy ups, so I guess the juggle test works. Kind of. But not really. For the second test is the bounce test. Can a fake ball bounce just like a real ball? Probably not. In three, two, one. We're gonna do that again. Okay, maybe if I give this one a little bit more oomph. Ugh. It just doesn't bounce. Test two, this thing doesn't bounce, so that's a fail. But test three, we're gonna see how it rolls. For the third test, we get two cones on either end and we're gonna do a 10 yard pass. This might be problematic, but we'll see how it rolls. I believe in you, mate. Starting off with the real football. He's done it. But now it's time for the almighty fake football. 10 yard pass, hit me. <laughs> nope. Maybe a little bit stronger. Oom. Remember, this is a ball of grass. This should not be rolling that easily. <gasps> My intuition is letting me down. Take three. Brother, that was so close. We could not have gone any closer on that one. Instead, come on, baby, come on. Test number three was a fail. We almost completed a 10 yard pass with the fake football. However, for test four, we're gonna try to head it and see if it really hurts. For this test, I need to head the ball into the fence before it hits the ground. For the first foot the ball, nice and easy. Okay, Golasso, that's brilliant. But for this lovely masterpiece of creation, we're gonna test and find out if I can head this thing at least five yards. We're almost there. We need to jump this time. Almost, a little bit more. It's all about the force, the power. <sighs> all right, I can confirm this ball sucks. You cannot head it, you cannot pass it, and it does not bounce. So that sucks, but for the final test is the touch test. Here we go, let's go. Oh yes, here we go, sir, yes. Ooh. Considering the ball doesn't bounce, you know your touch is gonna be absolutely perfect 
with this fake football. In fact, it's actually going to be better than a real football. After completing the five tests, there was one last check before it was good to go. Will my dad approve my creation? Right, so you have not seen the ball. I got the ball right here underneath my shirt. Let's take a look. Okay, here we go. So this is the ball. Okay. Yeah, I'd say a little undersized, not quite round, uh, a little too heavy. Other than that, it's perfect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everything's got its pros and cons, but this one just has a few more cons. I think when someone tries to kick this, they're gonna break their foot. <laughs> It's like a cement brick. But will my best friends notice the difference? Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back. We're doing the blindfold penalty challenge today. But little did they know what they were actually going to be kicking. How are you feeling today, sir? Pretty confident. I think the game plan is if he's blindfolded, full power right down the middle. Not confident at all. You know, I'm very small, but also my penalty taking ability is also not there. Do you think the connection of the ball is going to be there today? Because you're not going to be able to see. Like, What's the strategy? I mean, I've seen Michael Jordan take a free throw with his eyes closed, so this is no different. I'm confident I can hit the ball, but how well I hit it? Maybe a different story, but... With 10 penalties each and two blindfolds, I had no idea of what to expect. Here you go, sir. Penalty spot is right here, right in front of you. Take whatever steps back you need. And he shanked it wide. And he's missed it wide. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Oh, and it's a glass finish. Oh my god. Ooh. It almost hit the post. And he shanked it wide. Nice, that was a good finish. Oh my god. Good finish. Here we go. Good finish. Good strike, sir. Oh, and it's a little wide. Going back and forth between pens, they gained enough practice, which left me to switch the ball in the final moments. Are you going to go for a back? Back up. Whenever you're ready, sir. Fuck, did I pop it? What the fuck was that? Um, we're gonna try that again. What did I do? I don't know what I said. Here you go. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> this is not a ball. It's right at your feet. I'm gonna break his jaw. For the final shot, sir. Oh, he's, he's backing up for this one. Wait, keep going. Keep. It's right here, it's right here, it's right here. After suspecting something was wrong, I had to reveal the truth. I'm sure you guys are wondering, something didn't feel right. Yeah, I thought I popped something. That is what you were kicking? I, mean, I already grabbed it. It's a bunch of bags. Now, do you guys know what this is? Yarn? Yarn. Some plastic bags. This is a football made out of grass. Grass? Grass. I did, that, that did feel like it, I'm not gonna lie. It felt very squishy. I don't remember if he actually handed it to me or I just No, he put it on the ground I so I wanted to see where it was so I can just take a step back and pass it. <laughs> this guy started <laughs> touching it yeah. and he was like, mmm. <laughs> I, like, mm. I was like, what the fuck is that? It's definitely interesting. Squishy. It's heavy. different. A lot heavier than a regular ball. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate it? About a one. Yeah, a really good one. It is similar to a bean bag. Low key, I agree with what you said. I thought it was like a small bean bag. But like 10 times bigger. And heavier. <laughs>